What I thought I'd show you here is the basics of check in and check out in a SharePoint document library. So here we are at a SharePoint document library. What I'm going to do is go in here and create a new Word document using uh, the Word Online feature that is part of Office 365. So when I create a new document, that will put me into uh, edit mode. So I will just put some text in here and then wait for the document to save. We notice that it's saving in the bottom middle of uh, the screen, so now it's saved. We can go back to our document and we should see uh, a document there. Now, what I've got is I have um, another user here, so in another browser, so consider this to be the primary user and this secondary browser over here to be the secondary user. Now, if I refresh the screen on the secondary user here, we'll now see that document in um, the document library. So provided they have the right, so if I go in as the secondary user here on the left hand side, I can then go in and uh, edit this uh, document again using Word Online. So I'll quickly go in and um, add a secondary edit here. Okay, and again we wait for it to save, take a minute or to do that. And then so once we've done that, we'll then pop back to um, the document and we'll go back to the original user. So we go back over here to the original user, look at that document, and we'll see that that has been updated. So again, what in this case I'm going to do is with the primary user, I'm going to basically go into the options for this document. So what I do is select this and then over here on the menu I have the option up here called manage. Now one of the options I have is called check out. Now when I check a document out what we'll see here is a little green arrow here over the icon and that basically means that the user who checked it out has exclusive right access to the document. That means at this stage the user, the original user on the right here is the only user who can edit the document. Now if I go to the secondary user here and again refresh the document library what we'll see is that we get the checkout symbol here. So everybody here knows that it is checked out. So if I'm here on the secondary user, I click on the document. Again, I can view that document. But if I try and edit that document in uh, Word Online here, what I should basically get is a warning that tells me Word Online can't edit the document because it is checked out to someone else, which is exactly what I want. So it's checked out to my primary user here over on the right hand side. Now if I go to the primary user here on the right hand side who has checked out the document you'll find that of course I can go in here and I can continue to edit that document. So let me go in here and let me add a a third edit and again give it a moment to save and update. Once we've done that, we can go back to our site. Now you'll see that the document, even though I have edited it, it still remains checked out. Okay, so that means that I've still checked it out as a primary user for editing. Now I have checked it out and I've also now made changes. But If I now go to my secondary user here on the left and have a look at the document, you'll see that I only see the to initial edits. So again, what we've done is because we've checked out the document, the person who has checked that out has exclusive right access. They have exclusive rights to change the document, which I have done, and those changes are not reflected for other users until that document is checked back in. So again, I can, as the primary user, go in here and continue to edit the document, update it, make changes, and all the secondary user will see is everything prior to the point that I check the document out. Now when I've finished making changes to the document again I select that document, I go into manage and you'll find here that I have an option here to check the document in. So this means that it's going to make it available once again for users to work on. Now you'll see that I have the option up the top here when I do check something in to check in the changes that I've made so I can check in any changes that I've made so that other users can see these changes but then I can keep the document checked out to keep working on it. So basically it's like refreshing the update that everybody can see. So what I'll do here is I won't do that I'll just do this and call this check in one and I'll go OK. 
So now once I've checked the document in, you will see that the uh, check-in uh, icon has now disappeared from the type icon over here. Now if I refresh my page for the secondary user, you'll see that they also now have the document available and the check-in's gone. So if I now go into my secondary user, you'll see that they can go in, they again see all the updates in here, and if I want I can now go in and edit the document because obviously no one else has that document checked out. So what I can do again as a secondary user, I can go in and add my own edit once more, let that update and save, return to my site and then again look at the primary user. So again the checkout function in uh, SharePoint allows you to the user who checks the document out to have exclusive right access. Once the document is checked out everybody else can view the version of the document prior to the checkout but they can't make any changes until that document is checked back in. So again if we go and look at the primary user what we see over here is obviously um, the changes that have been made by my secondary user. So again what I will do here is I will um, check this document out. So what I can do is select this and then I can go to my manage option again across the top and I will check that document out and then what I will do is I will go in here and I will now edit the document again so I now have exclusive access to change this document so again I will go in here and make it the fifth edit let that save and update Okay, and then I will go back to uh, my site. Okay, now if I look at my secondary user over here on the left, again because we've checked out the document, we don't see that last edit here. Okay, so if we go into the document here on the right hand side with the uh, primary user, you'll see that the edit doesn't appear for the secondary user because I have checked that document out. Now, as mentioned before, what I can do is when I check the document in, um, I can elect to uh, update that version for everybody. So if I go to check in here, and then I'm going to retain my checkout after checking in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is check in two. And what that means is that will then basically update the version that everybody can see with the changes but keep the document checked out so that any changes again from that point um, remain with the originator here. So I've checked the document in um, but I've also remained it out so I can keep working on it. So again if I look at the secondary user you'll now see that I see all the edits as I do over here. If I go back to the primary user again the document is checked out still so if I go back in to edit the document again and we put in yet another edit okay so we call this our sixth edit and we allow that to save if I now go back to the secondary user so that is um, saving so I go back to blank now because the document was updated but remained checked out you'll see that the secondary user doesn't see any change that has been made since I checked that document out now what I've also got here is the ability, if I go into manage, you'll see that I have the ability to discard the checkout. So if I've made some changes and I don't want to keep working with those, I can discard the checkout, which will again um, undo all the changes that I've made since I last checked the document in. All right, so I'll lose all the changes made to the document. So I go OK. It'll discard the checkout and you'll see that it puts it back into um, the mode where the document is no longer checked out and if I have a look at this document on the originator system you'll see that it has now discarded the sixth edit which I then put in place so again makes it uh, relatively easy to work with so if I discard the um, checkout then any changes I've made since I checked the document out will be basically thrown away and the document will be reverted to the point where I checked it out now 
obviously what we've got is that we're doing this via a very manual process. Now if we want we can configure the document library so that it forces every document that somebody edits to automatically be checked out. Now to do that we go to the document library, we go to library uh, tab up the top here and then go across to library settings. In library settings under the versioning settings on the left hand side here under general settings what we'll find is we have down the bottom the option here um, to require documents to be checked out before they can be edited. So what that means is if I enable this, this will force everybody who goes to edit a document to check it out so that they have exclusive access while it's being worked on. So again, you go into the settings for the document library and then go into the versioning settings to make those changes. Now what we can do is if a user, just an ordinary user goes in for example and checks out the document, so let's say that they're working on the document, they check it out over here on the uh, left hand side. If I now update my primary user who is an administrator and has more rights than the ordinary user, you'll see that the document remains checked out. Now because this user uh, is an administrator and has full rights over the document library, you'll see that they have the ability to check that, force the check-in to disregard the checkout. So an administrator has the ability to override a user's check-in. So again, if they check a document out as a user and then maybe go away or go on holidays, um, it doesn't lock that document totally. An administrator can still get into that document and then check it in or discard the checkout depending on how they want to do it. So by checking a document out as a user doesn't lock it so that nobody else can get access to it. An administrator can always overwrite that user's check-in. So there we have it, a very basic overview of how document check-in works with SharePoint document libraries. I thank you very much for watching this video.